Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Jarman here with Pediatric Foot and Ankle. Intoing in children is the most common pediatric gait abnormality discussed with pediatricians. So today I'd like to take the time to discuss the topic of pediatric intoing and help you, the parent, understand what anatomical structures are influencing and the ideal window of opportunity of when to treat it. As a physician and pediatric care provider who specializes in foot and ankle conditions, I agree that there is a natural resolution for many children who have mild intoing. However, not all cases resolve and I would strongly recommend early interventional treatment sooner than later once identified in infancy. Intoing creates a lot of parental concerns and is a very common torsional gait abnormality I see almost every day here in the office. Intoing is a visual effect of an underlying torsional twisting deformity coming from the lower extremities. This may sound complicated, however it is not. There are three influencing areas that this torsion comes from. In the hips, we classify as femoral antiversion. In the legs, tibial torsion. And in the feet, metatarsus adductus. Please see my other videos where I discuss each one of these conditions in greater detail. This video is just to help the parent identify where the intoing is originating from. Please understand that in some children, two or more of these conditions can coexist to create an increase in the severity of the intoing. A quick and simple way to determine where the torsion is coming from is a gait exam. When evaluating a child walking, if their knees are pointing in, then there is a suspected influence coming from femoral antiversion, the femurs twisting in. If the knees are pointed forward during gait, then there is either a tibial torsion or a metatarsus adductus. To differentiate these, have the child sit in a chair and look at the bottoms of their feet. If you notice that their foot curves in, then most likely they have metatarsus adductus. In the office, a thorough gait and physical exam is performed evaluating range of motion in the hips, legs, and feet. This gives us an accurate diagnosis for proper treatment protocols. In general, we find that children under the age of one, the most common culprit of intoing seems to come from metatarsus adductus. In children between the ages of one and two, we commonly see tibial torsion as the predominant condition influencing intoing. Femoral antiversion will often manifest in children older than four and can, but not always, be associated with a positional sitting in the W position. This is why we encourage not sitting on our feet and sitting in a crisscross applesauce position. Knowing when to treat can be controversial. Should we wait to see if it spontaneously improves or do we start treatment as soon as possible? Tibial torsion generally spontaneously corrects over time. However, metatarsus adductus and femoral antiversion typically do not. Specifically, metatarsus adductus has a very narrow window between the ages of birth to two years of age where these children respond well to conservative treatment consisting of casting and or night bracing. In our older children, correction may not be fully achievable. However, an orthotic device with a gait plate may help in the improvement of the way they walk. If your child intos or has a gait abnormality that is affecting the way they walk, run, or play, please call our office today and have your child evaluated. I'm Dr. Michael Jarman. Thanks for watching.